The Pacific Ocean is a source of fun and fish here in Southern California. Make safe choices for you and your family when dealing with the fish you catch. There is documentation of increased health risk associated with eating contaminated fish, especially from the Palos Verdes shelf. The levels of uh, contaminants are very high in the sediments and they accumulate up the food chain. Learn how to identify the five fish you should not consume. In this video, identifying the white croaker. This is the fish that concentrates the largest amount of, of contaminants within its tissues. So the white croaker itself has some very distinctive characteristics. It focus on the shape of the head. It has a rounded face, a blunt end uh, face. There's a dark spot right under the pectoral fin. And that dark spot in, in association with the silvery sidedness is a giveaway. When the fish is alive and you hold it just like this, they have a well-muscled swim bladder and you can actually feel them croaking, hence the common name croaker. Its cousin, the yellowfin croaker, has bright yellow fins, unlike uh, the white croaker that doesn't. A cousin of the white croaker called the queenfish, they have the same sort of coloration, but the mouth is, is very different. The head shape is very different. The white croaker and the black croaker are closely related. And the black croaker has a larger one chin barbel right under the chin. The white croaker has smaller barbels that you need a magnifying glass to see, but they're there. Now these are on the list of do not consume from Palos Verdes as well. So wherever there's a high level of contamination, I, I wouldn't eat them. These tips brought to you by the Fish Contamination Education Collaborative. The Fish Contamination Education Collaborative was established by the United States Environmental Protection Agency to educate the public about the health risks associated with contaminated fish related to the Palos Verde Shelf Superfund site. Check out our other videos and information at www.pvsfish.org.